guys, we're here today at the Aquarium of the Pacific and it's been a little while since we've been back. Yeah, we haven't been back since summertime. Now yeah. it's winter, it's cold, it's, cold. it's it was, cloudy. It was raining this morning that we got our jackets on. So the Aquarium Holidays is going on right now and we want to go see what it's about. It's our first yeah. time here during the winter time and during the holiday time. Yeah, I haven't been here during the holidays and I know there's going to be That's decorations. decorations. Yeah, let's go inside and check it out. How about this on Finding the Magic? So here are the current parking rates. Self-parking for 30 minutes is free. And then if you want to stay from 30 minutes to an hour or to an hour and a half, actually it's $3. And then an hour and a half to 2.5 hours is $6 and so on and so forth. Uh, you can get a discounted ticket inside the aquarium. That's what we have. It saves you a lot of money. I think you get four parking passes for $25, which saves you a few bucks. And if you do have a pass, it is going to come in handy. But if you're just going to visit the aquarium this one time, you can get it validated for $8. All right, so here we are. The first sign of the aquarium holidays. Looks like they got a wreath over there. We gotta have a face covering on. So go ahead and get your face covering. I got mine. Oh, you have a Disney one. I have a shark one. So this is for the aquarium. Yeah, you have to be festive. Come on, you get on with the program. All right, we're gonna probably get you one, but let's get inside and check it all out. Thank you. So here is our membership card. We had reservations, so we just scanned in and then now you're able to get inside with your membership. All right guys, so some quick guidelines before we get started. You do wanna know that they are requiring masks indoors and, and outdoors. outdoors of the aquarium. Uh, it is at their discretion to wear it outdoors, even though it's not mandated in LA County. It is their policy. It is their policy. So we still have to follow the rules. Yep, you have to wear them on the outdoor exhibits, which is not too bad. It's not hot, it's actually cool outside, so it's not too bad. If it was a hot day, I would yeah, really not want to wear it, yeah. but not too bad. And uh, inside, you do want to keep it on as well. Of course, the only time when you don't wear your mask is when you're eating or drinking and sitting down. Yes, yeah, so when you're eating or drinking, no mask is required. Uh, but other than that, you're going to have to wear it on the entire time of your visit. See, look at how empty it is. There's not a lot of people here today. And they do have some Christmas decorations up. Pretty cool. So check this out. We have one of the scuba divers actually feeding the fish. I've never seen this here. So here we can see on the feeding container, it says leopard sharks. So I'm assuming that he is in charge of feeding these guys, which is back there. He's probably waiting for him to make his way over here, which that's what it looks like. And yeah, here they come. He's gonna feed the leopard shark right now. Trying to fight off the other fish. That's pretty funny. Looks like he's feeding him squid, but he is assigned to the leopard shark. There he goes. Oh, he took it. There it is. That's awesome. <laughs> it's so neat to see that. It's pretty cool. And there's another scuba diver right there. Awesome. And I think those scuba divers over there, and we have one up here who looks like he's cleaning. I didn't even notice him till now. But we have other ones over there, and it looks like they're also assigned to other fish. But he is right now trying to feed the leopard sharks. That is really cool. Eel shepherds, so he is looking for the eel shepherds to feed. There you go. That is awesome. Oh, all done. That's awesome. So here we are now at the Lorikeet Forest. It's my favorite place to be here. It is. This is one of my favorite spots. It's probably the most interactive. It is, and I got their food. Yeah, this is the nectar, which is like, I want to say like rice milk, I believe. The birds love it. They so love, They go crazy. Yeah, them. you'll see as soon as we walk in, they're going to just jump all over the place. <laughs> And yeah, it's really cool. It. It's awesome for the kids too. It is. Kids love it. All right, so if you do want to buy some nectar to feed the birds, it is $4. And like I said, the birds love it. And you'll get them just climbing on top of you. Vanessa got one, so we're going to show you guys how much they actually do love it. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have to make sure those doors close. And then go ahead, push it or pull it open. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh my gosh. You already got three. Look at They're already fighting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. Look at that. So we got two of them already eating some food. Oh, I, I got swarmed by Look at that. All these people getting swarmed. All right. <laughs> these guys are just fighting all over the place. <laughs> They're just hungry. They're happy. I can feel their nails digging into. You can feel the, your nails digging They're pretty strong. So it's a little overwhelming when you first come in because they just come and swarm at you. Yeah. 
and you know all the birds just want to eat yeah. so they fight and they scream in your ear yeah as soon as you come in they jump all over you and it's kind of scary at it's first scary, but it's it's nice like once they yeah. realize yeah if you first but they finish this yeah they finish that so fast it's and it's good. like you said, if it's your first time, you're going to get scared. If it's your first time, you will yeah. probably freak out a little bit. Yeah, because there's, like I said, there's going to be like five or six birds. But just keep walking. Yes. And it tones down a little bit Especially after a little while. Especially if you have like little kids, they might get scared when the birds like attack them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially that it's not too busy. There's like hardly anyone here. Oh, yeah, so you're like the only person with yeah. food. So well, They definitely want to eat with you. Yeah. So if you don't want to pay for the nectar, you can just come in. It's a free attraction. So you can just come in and enjoy the views, enjoy the birds. Sometimes I've been seeing them like stand on you. If you yeah, they probably think you might have food, but then once they realize you don't, they yeah, just kind of fly away. fly away. But yeah. it's still a nice attraction to come see if you don't want to pay for the food. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's four dollars, not too bad. Yeah, one cup is plenty it's just plenty. to get. You'll get enough interaction with just one cup. Yeah, for sure. These birds are flying everywhere. We They're don't have going crazy. Yeah, we don't have no more nectar, so we're gonna go head over to the petting area of the aquarium. Alright, so here we are at the shark lagoon area, and this is where they have the big sharks. I just saw a big one pass. Yeah. You can see the big one way over there. Let's see. Hopefully he passes by. We can get a better look. Because that guy is his teeth are sharp. We have some babies of those right here. That is so cool. I've never seen a sea turtle. This close before? I mean, they never come this close. Right? Yeah, they never come this close. I'm not sure if it's because there's not a lot of people in this area, so they're not kind of. They're not as shy. Yeah, they're not as shy, but they're being a little bit more camera friendly now. That is so that pretty. Is so cool. Look at that! Wow, beautiful. Wow. So the one you could barely it's see. Do you see it? It's that stingray. It's a stingray it's way over there. In there. He like blended in into the sand and the water. He's just laying down there. He's been there this whole time. I didn't even notice that. I know, I just saw it right now. Pretty cool. How pretty. Look at, you got more coming. Wow. Right there we have our sand bar shark. He's just right there. He's a beautiful So there's like three or four different kinds and they all feel different. There's yeah. one that feels really rough and one that feels really slimy and soft. The ones with like the blue spots are the rough ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that one right there. Yeah, yeah that's the one that feels like sandpaper almost. Yeah, so the Shark Lagoon is by far one of the coolest things here. It is. Your kids are going to love it. It's very uh, interactive. It you get is. to touch different types of stingrays. Plenty of space, especially, you know, on the weekend when it's busy, people are doing other things in the park. So <laughs> definitely a really cool experience. Definitely a must. Uh, but the Shark Lagoon is definitely a must. So the last time we were here, this whole area was like Where gated off. Yeah, it was gated off and now it's pretty cool that it's open. Glad it's open. You can see they have now the playground open, they have the ship, they have all these fishes, some seashells, and this is just a cool little activity area for kids just to jump around and you know just to yeah, let off some energy. This is great. I'm glad that they opened this little area up. In our last video it was all gated up and it was kind of disappointing to see it, but now it's open. Hopefully, we won't have to wear masks soon, and hopefully, we'll that's get everything. Still the downside, but yeah, but I still love it here. it's keeping it safe, and that's the rules here, and we're gonna abide by the rules. So, hopefully, next time, you know, it'll be different. So here we are now at the penguin exhibit. Yes, yeah, so we caught them now in a time. Yeah, now they're all in the water swimming. I love to see the swimming. Look at that. That is so cool. And the water's so clear. Last time the water was very foggy and you couldn't see much. Look at this guy. He wants to say hi. All right, so here's an overview look at the lobby. As you can see, it is not busy at all. It's not, but it's also a weekday. It's a Tuesday. Usually when we come, we come on the weekend. So it's pretty crowded when we come. Yeah, that's on the we're weekends. We're not used to seeing this no. crowd. No, we're not used to these crowds here. Usually on the weekend, it's very crowded, but a weekday is definitely the day to come. I would definitely come during the weekday. Yeah, seems a little bit busier on the weekend, but weekday is pretty empty. So here we are now at the Northern Pacific exhibit part of the aquarium. Let's go inside and see what this part is all about. This one has one of my favorite exhibits, oh, no. this it moving water one. Ocean. It does, it mimics the ocean. Look how cool it is. Just watching those fishes. Just yeah, like it's like they're getting pushed around, but this is actually the environment they're used to and it helps them stay alive. I think without this current, uh, they wouldn't survive. So that's pretty interesting. Tell, but there is a machine in there that is mimicking the waves of the ocean. You'll see the water being pushed this way and 
pushing that way and it's pretty interesting that they actually made this machine inside this aquarium and you can also see the fog it makes the, big waves too it does it does it makes really big waves but you can see the fish are kind of just being pushed around and this is the environment that they're used to so they feel at home one of the first things vanessa noticed was these really cool decorations look at that that is awesome they got candy canes you got another jellyfish one there this one has like christmas lights and then you have a few light up over there wow those are beautiful take those home right that's they so cool so nice. right they're awesome i wish they sold these these are really awesome decorations i need those jellyfish look they actually look elect like they have some electrical, like electrical current. current yeah going through them that is very interesting that almost looks fake like a toy or something do you think they sting you too uh i'm sure they do these are called water comb jellies and yeah, I definitely say if they look like that, they're definitely gonna sting <laughs> they you. They have to, right? I wouldn't want to try. I'm good on that. But yeah, so I have these other little ones. These are called crystal jellies. These are really pretty as well. The way they move is I just. Know, they're so neat. And we have these here, which are called the Pacific so Sea Nettles. These are and so pretty. They are, but they look fake. It almost looks like a TV screen. It's it uh, does, yeah, yeah, right. It almost looks like a TV screen. It doesn't look like we're actually looking at jellyfish swimming through a tank. It's just so pretty and so mesmerizing. Check this guy out. He is an octopus. His name is Groot. It says right there. That's his stocking stuffer. He looks so interesting. I've never seen an octopus this close or this big. That is awesome. Look at the tentacles. Wow. That is amazing. Look at, oh, he just threw himself down. Beautiful. Yeah, he does look like Hank. That's what they should have named him. Here we are now at the starfish. And this is actually a touch lab, but it's closed right now, so we can't touch the starfish. Wish hopefully we could. They open it. Yeah, soon. hopefully they open it soon. But look at how beautiful the starfish is. There's a lot of them in there too. They're all kind of packed in the tank. But look at how beautiful the colors are. Those are real starfish. They actually look. Want to touch one, but we're not allowed. To. Yeah, we're not allowed to. We're so close. Look at the colors. How beautiful. I like the pink ones, it reminds me of Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Star. They should put a sponge in there for SpongeBob. But that is really cool. Very, very pretty. Pretty much like every exhibit we've been to, they've had a few Christmas trees just yeah, set they up have, there. Like, small little Christmas small decorations. Small little decorations. Nothing too big, but, no, but it pretty just adds to the season. It does. It's really cool that they just do those little touches here. And they even had some Christmas lights right above the sea otter exhibit. That is awesome too. So here we came to the giant Japanese spider crabs. That's what these guys are called. Look at how scary they look. These things, I want to say, comparison to my hand, you can see how big they actually are. Very, very big. Yeah, about yeah, I would say about three times. That's about right. But look how many there are. There's quite a few of them, and they take over this whole tank. Look at those that are standing. Yeah, that is really, really scary. All right, so the next exhibit is the Tropical Pacific. It is the newest one, and the, I want to say the brightest and the most colorful the one. one. Yeah, I there's a lot of colors look at here. Christmas decorations. Yeah, that is. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice. They got some, uh, got some little beads and some ornaments, and the fish right below. They even have candy canes. You see the candy canes right there? Also, the fishes get to enjoy the Christmas decorations. Yeah, that's cool. Now we're at our favorite part, the actual aquarium so tunnel. Amazing, I it love is. this tunnel. Look at it. you can just see the fish swimming. It's so pretty. Here comes the shark. Look at that. That's a hammerhead. Yeah, you can see up close. I know. That'd be awesome if they had like a petting area for like the exotic fish. Look at that guy. So this is the other side of the aquarium tunnel. If you're not getting any fish over there, you can see we're getting, look at this guy. Wow. So beautiful. It is. This is probably the biggest one that I've seen in this tank. Uh, you have some bigger fish down there, but not really moving. He's probably the biggest active one in this tank, but. Yeah, I didn't see, I didn't see any like bigger ones. Oh, there's the shark. Oh, stingray. here they do have a cafeteria i think it's called scuba cafe they do have quite a few items on the menu they have chips drinks as well 
you can bring your own lunch, which is what we did last time when we had our kids. Uh, it just saves us a few dollars. I would dollars. recommend bringing your own lunch, yeah. especially if you have kids. Yeah, bringing your own lunch because a soda, a canned soda is five dollars here. Uh, hamburger and fries is fifteen dollars, quite a bit. Uh, but like I said, if you guys do want to get something quick or just a quick snack, they do have that all available. They even serve alcohol as well. So if you want to grab a cold one and sit out here inside the cafeteria, you can on a hot day. It's a limit to two though, two drinks per person. Oh, okay. So yeah. you want to grab like two Nicola Boltras. You can do that. Of course, right. you have to be 21 and over. They're going to ID course, you. they're going to ID you. Yeah, but you can grab some beer and walk around the park. Pretty cool. Here's an overview of the cafeteria. As you can see, it's not busy. Uh, there's plenty of space. They have an excellent view of the park. They also have an outdoor patio area. We'll go show you guys that right now. But if you guys want to bring your lunch, we highly recommend it. I highly recommend it, yeah, especially because, for kids. Yeah, especially with your kids. You're going to want to pay $15 for a small cheeseburger. Yeah. Come here, bring your lunch, and hang out and enjoy it. So yeah, like our recommendation is pack a lunch, especially if you have kids. Especially if you have kids, bring and snacks. Bring snacks, water. and yeah, you can even just take a quick break here. Yeah. Water break. Just relax. Yeah, just relax, and then hit the outdoor exhibit, and then take a break, and then hit the indoor. Yeah. It just gives you guys a lot more time to relax. It time and money. I, I feel yeah, like. for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big saver. All right, but let's head outside and show you guys the outdoor patio. This is really nice. Last time this was closed it also. Was closed. It was closed and now it's open. You get a view of the whole park, which is really nice. It's a pretty big patio and definitely a really nice spot to bring your lunch. If you want to grab something here or bring your at home lunch, then this is a perfect spot to enjoy it and just relax. Let's see, as you can see here, they're still utilizing social distancing. They want to maintain that six feet. They want you to keep away from others. Do not handshake anybody. And yeah, just keep your hands washed, clean, and wear your mask. They're taking those protocols very they serious are, here at the so aquarium. Just respect the rules. Yeah, respect the rules and have a good time. So here's a look at the Marine Life Theater. This was like a live action entertainment for kids. And this was like daily. And it's been closed since its reopening. We haven't seen any activity here. Uh, hopefully reopen soon this was a little like puppet show uh full of like sea animals yeah i've and, only seen videos but... yeah we've only seen videos like they have them all throughout the aquarium mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't seen it live and hopefully they bring it back i know kids love this it's a cool little show they get to sit here parents get to sit out sit outside enjoy get a break um, but hopefully soon i know they're very strict here with their guidelines so of course. um but hopefully soon, hopefully soon bring fingers back. crossed and then at the end of the day if you guys want to stop by at the gift shop you can get your kiddos a little something this is where i got my face mask they have very cool themed ones they also have another gift shop on the inside which is another another store in itself oh, it's a huge store it's a huge store but they have, more they have a better selection out here in my opinion as far as the aquarium merchandise yeah definitely check it out they have little trinkets they have merchandise they have shirts everything you can think of here at the gift shop all right so general admission for the aquarium of the pacific is 36.95 for an adult 26.95 for a child and 33.95 for a senior and they also do have the membership programs it is and as far as the memberships they have the whole list of them on their website i'm just going to get into the detail of the one that we have which is the family it's two adults and then you are allowed to bring up to four children right four children four children and then you can yeah just uh make reservations show up as you want you don't need to pay any additional fees and parking is not included though. yeah parking is not included uh you can buy these tickets that we do have yeah, i think it's four for 25 dollars mm -hmm. which is, saves you a couple dollars but the one that we have is 159 for our whole entire family, entire family for the full year the so full year, pretty yes. good just need to make a reservation and to us it's totally worth it it's totally worth it our kids love it our especially kids love if we have it. little ones yeah like if there's no reservations at any other theme park <laughs> and you want to come here just come here and enjoy it yeah all right, everyone, we are done for today here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. It was such a nice little trip. Yeah, it was so fun, just yeah. us two. And then we got to experience it on a slow yeah. day. Yeah, on a slow day. We usually come on the weekends, but it's Which a little really more packed. crowded. And now it's, it was really slow. We were able to do everything in like two hours. Yeah, less yeah. than that, I yeah, think. Yeah, usually on a weekend, it takes about three to four. So, um, and we didn't have our kids too, so that makes a yeah. big difference. And then seeing all the Christmas decorations. Yeah, all the Christmas decorations. Hidden ones inside yeah. the tanks, which is really cool. Definitely come check it out if you guys are interested. We have a really good membership program, and the tickets are not bad as well, but definitely check them out. But I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button. It does help out the channel a lot. If you guys want to stay tuned to the aquarium and other events very similar to this one, just hit the subscribe button. We're always going to be doing new things like this in the future and coming up real soon. Other than that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for helping us find the wonders of magic. Bye. Bye.